Good afternoon, Norda Homi. Welcome back to my channel. So, by request by a viewer that I happen to like a lot, so I decided to make this very short video. So, these were my oil paints, and since I didn't put them on the survey because I noticed when I asked a question a couple of weeks ago if you guys were interested in like me swatching oil paints or whatever nobody said anything on their comments so i just assumed you didn't want to see them but a viewer um you know wanted asked me so i was like hey why not since this week i'm not in i'm not taking my oil painting class because i'm taking a break from it because i finished my project and i'm sorry i forgot to make a little video but i will do it next monday when i go back and make um a little bit um use my this iridescent on my mushroom so on my mushroom top so you know it gives it a little bit of a of a oomph it's basically done besides that i have nothing else to do unless i want to add something which i don't think it'll be the case um so yeah this is my sennelier oil bar this was actually eleven dollars at blick and it's for sennelier and oil bar this is cheap thank goodness so um this is the um i got the gold i believe because i wanted to see so far the most shimmering has been the gold that i got from rnf so those 20 dollars were well worth it in it when you put it it sparkles everywhere for days it took me weeks to get it off my hands and hopefully it, and it takes a long time to dry as well so that's been the most sparkling the rest have been iridescent so it's like less sparkle but it's like mm, it gives it something that is there i will see when i go back and check out my canvas let me turn on the light from the back so so yeah and uh so yeah here i am making this request i have i'm gonna swatch i will warn you this is my old swatches for the gambling that I did here on camera. So I have this canvas paper, but um, for oil and acrylic. Um, so obviously I'm using it for oil. I have, I made my sketchbook and it's at, it's at school. All my oil paint stuff are at school. So I'm just going to use my finger because, yeah, because I don't have any medium, nothing here. Absolutely nothing. So I did think about bringing my sketchbook, but because it wasn't dry and I swatched on there on the two oil paints that you didn't get to see because I never filmed them. They got here and I took them to school straight because I needed them. So yeah. So what I got for you is the catnip and red hue. And hue, just like watercolors or acrylics, hue is not the real thing. But when I look in the back, I was very pleased. So these are this one Ultrich is an american brand just like gambling and this um this is made in the netherlands this old holland which are expensive but this gold locker was 11 dollars and change thank goodness and i do believe it's 40 millimeters i it doesn't have it here but i do remember seeing it although the Ultrich 37 mil looks bigger huh yeah it looks bigger but it might be just the two and then this gambling, obviously, you know, I'm a gambling girl. Thalo green, I couldn't, this is the artist grade. 37 mil was $5, so I couldn't pass it on. They also had the Viridian. But Vir Vir Viridian for me is very, very um, not, um, I like this one, although this is considered um, like a dye base but this actually has really good ratings so yeah life fitness one so yeah this it's kind of like a guy so um i do like it because it mixes like beautifully you make a lot of different mixes so i like it the viridian i don't like i i do like viridian i just yeah i just prefer this one and this one was only five dollars now this is iridescent white and i'm winsor newton so this one didn't cost me three under three dollars just like my other one this actually cost me still it was very affordable i think it was eight dollars 
eight dollars and change and it was six at one point but then it went up so i'm excited about this one so these are with the sennelier my two iridescent so let's go ahead and swatch the old church um henny and red hue it's not real but i needed a red and it was cheap as hell it was and it's actually the artist so yeah if i find another red that is artist then i can mix it so yeah but i was pleased it has pigments py73 which is RLI yellow pr1112 nepto nepto that's pigment is actually used in a lot of the red synthetic and then pw4 which is zinc white and it's opaque in nature so i couldn't say no oh look at that mm. yeah i'm gonna like this very much i don't care if it's a hue it's very pretty you guys just the way i better than what i imagined yeah it has a rosy tint because obviously yeah it is very creamy Ooh, look at this swatch me away without even without even using um any medium oh yeah okay ultrich so I, I might get the starter set from them which is 35 dollars right now at a uh, blick stores online so the, oh i'm so glad i see this is why i catch the clearances just to try out and this is artist grade i don't care if it's a hue look at this it is the prettiest most opaque hue and yet still transparent viridian is transparent that's what i meant to say earlier um so i don't viridian is a beautiful color but i don't know what an oil paint i don't necessarily like it it's not one of my favorite this guys oh this is the best hue that i've ever ever experienced and that's because they're not using like a synthetic hue they're using a mix of colors to make this including i don't mind if they use the zinc white it's what makes it opaque and you could tell it is opaque like a mother However, it has like this pinkish undertone and I love that. And I don't have to use white if I don't want to. So, um, let's see. I wanna get it off my finger, but I need to, uh, let's see here. I don't wanna, uh, I'm just gonna go for it. Just right here. Oh well. Oh my god, it's just oil paint. I don't want to, because I don't have anything. I have to wash my finger, but I have to swatch the other ones. So yeah, oh well. Here, I might have to use this. It's just oil, it's just oil paint, but I don't, I, I have to wait until it takes this to school. I mean, I could throw it away. It doesn't have any medium. Actually, yeah, I could throw it away here. As long as it doesn't have any medium, you could toss it out. Because it's just it's just pigment in. And this one doesn't have any. Yeah. It's AP certified. It doesn't have any cadmium. So I'm okay. Um, I forget about that. Because it's like a habit that I have. That I, everything with oil paint needs to go. In the, in the, in the hazardous trash. But. Um, oh, this one's the gold ochre so let me try this green first and then we're gonna try all the cool ones the golds and stuff like that i'm so glad i did this um for you uh what is it for my and for those of you i'm gonna create a tab for oil specific like oil related stuff oil paint probably oil bars so just oil it's, it'll say just um oil paint or oil oil stuff whatever so you'll know oh this one's hard i can't get it out of the tube maybe it's been sitting at dick blick for a while yeah i could tell sometimes if they don't sell them the pigments are stuck that has yet to happen to me in oil but it looks like I finally got one. So let me try to push it out. 
and for it to not to come yeah i could i could feel the the pressure so it is coming out it's just taking a while i think it's yeah it was slowly i think trying to dry okay yeah it is trying to dry but in oil so it doesn't matter because i could get it out of the tube but i'm not gonna do that and when you use medium it is a little bit hard this one i could feel like the pressure in the tube but it's fine like um it's not too bad so yeah see it, it still managed to it probably just was sitting at the glick for a very long time you know um oil paint will last a long ass time over 10 years you guys so don't you worry if you get something like mine where it's like it's not trying to move even if it's dry you could just open this bad boy and don't take it out and put some medium in it or whatever or or some um some oil walnut safflower or whatever you have and give it a store i mean stir it up and that'll be it so yeah beautiful color see this one is a little bit more see how creamy this one is and how dry this one is and they're both are this great but they are they're also the telo see so the telo is considered like a dye even in, in oil paint my teacher told my oil paint teacher told us that so he's like just careful i mean yeah so i still bought it because i like i said i i do like the telo and five dollars who couldn't say no to that and like I said, maybe I'll mix it with another light fast um, color and use only a little bit of that just to, because it looks, it's green, but it has like a blue shade. It's more like on the blue shade, I think. So yeah, I do love this one. I am so happy about that. Oh, I should have bought two tubes and I did think about that. Hmm. If they're probably, if they're, if they're available i will um later on when i buy the ultrich starter kit okay now here goes the cool one so this is old holland and they do have old holland and watercolors and except for gambling gambling does not do watercolors so all of these is for gambling and I want to try the watercolors of this so bad. I have tried a few that a viewer sent me. And I fell in love. But I want to try their, I think it's their 12 set. Oh my god. I already could sense it. This is going to be really good. Gold ochre. Ah, oh my god. Yep. It's beautiful. Beautiful, you guys. And it's so creamy. This one is like butter. I mean, that, you know, that fluffy, that fluff butter? That's how it felt like to me. Like fluff butter. Look at that. Butter. So. Ah, so I hope it's giving you some idea. Oil paint is a little, it's a lot different, but I do love my paintings in oil paint. There, it gives them like a, like the best way I could describe is that when you when you paint something in other mediums and then you pass it over to oil paint, it's like wow, it gives it like a new look like body wise look at lime look at this dry swatches and look at this new ones and look how the colors like boom they just pop and yeah it i love like i didn't realize how much i love oil paint until like i'm done with my paintings and i'm like wow it gives them like a sculpting type of uh look without it you without you even knowing so I never go, oh, I like this because I have a certain look. No, I just go and paint. And when I'm done, I'm just like, wow, well, I'm blown away. So this one, we're going to try it on these swatches. Because the it's white. It's iridescent white. 
and I bought it for that reason. So we're gonna try this on this one, on this rust rust red gambling because it's super oh it's super opaque and i love um winsor and newton you can never go wrong with them they're like sennelier it's rare when they make a bad product and i'm just telling you the truth like they're really good with their paint and obviously they're one of the oldest and now even though like this is a 37 mil artist gray and the only reason I found out how good they are is because I bought all those tubes, like I think six of them. And I think I already finished three, but they do go a long way. Naples yellow light was one of my faves. I couldn't make it, but it's like from Winsor and Newton, it's like perfect. Um, and red, you know, some other ones, and I bought them at Hobby Lobby. And I kind of wish I would have bought more. I did kind of sense that I was going to regret that. But I think at that time, I bought like $45 worth of stuff. Okay, so let's try. So off the bat, you know, so it's not completely white. So you see that? It's like, um, and these are dry. They've been dry. These swatches have been dry for, for over, a, over a week, close to two weeks now. So it's not like interfering so yeah it is this is i'm glad i got it it did not disappoint like so it's not completely white it's as you can see and i'm gonna put it in another one it's probably here here on this white this is the pearlescent on the top so here see how it goes so you you can still see it so it's kind of like um like a buff titanium iridescent see you can still see it can you see it well a little bit right on camera but in real life see it's like it's so light but you could see it and i want to see i want to see how i'm gonna mix it oh this red hue look at that you guys it's almost telling me like Mix me, mix me, mix me. Look at that. It made a beautiful iridescent, like a cadmium red or orange for you. You don't know your colors, but cadmium red looks like that. A little bit orangey. I love this hue. Oh, this is my favorite hue. I'm going to buy some more. I don't care what my teacher said because I like the pigments. I'm going to show it to him actually. And show him the pigments because this might be the best cue that we come across. He doesn't, he's not like me where he ventures out, but I give him all the information. He's lucky to have me, I think. As an oil, because he's, we're basically colleagues, but this art is not my lane. But, um, so he treats me like a student in that sense, but he really does um, respect and value my opinion. But I'm the one that gives him. He does, I notice he doesn't know a lot of the pigments. He doesn't know PR83. Our lizard and crimson, crimson is fugitive. Uh, if it doesn't tell him. Like I noticed that. I was like. All this time in oil paint. And you don't even know your pigments. I thank watercolor community for that. Thank you. Because thanks to the fact that I do watercoloring. I learned a lot of my pigments. <laughs> so yeah. So there you go. See it's not. It's beautiful, this iridescent. I'm going to put more on here and see. Against it. Oh my God, you guys. Look at that. Look how pretty. OMG. Okay, this one I think it makes a little bit. Yeah, this one, the light red Windsor Winton. It's not fully dry. The other ones are. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to put this. This is definitely going to go really nice. And, and see, um, Windsor and Newton. You see how iridescent it is? You want to see it? It, and it looks like it's not, but it really is. It's shiny. Look at my fingers. Look at my fingers. See? So, Windsor and Newton, it's like creamy and buttery and oil paint. The art is great. And all the art... 
artist grade. I've never seen them bigger than this, but the Winton, which is the student grade, is also very good. They have very large tubes. So, oh, almost. I was almost gonna shut off the camera. We still got one more, you guys. The Sennelier. Ooh, the oil bar. This is, I, just like Sennelier products, they could, they barely, I don't even think they, I haven't come across a product that they, that I bought that they made wrong. I, their oil, like I said before, these oil pastels were made for Picasso and I'm pretty sure that's how the oil bars were born because of that. They've been making these for a very long time and they're very good at it. And the only problem that I have with their oil sticks is that they're never that cheap. But you could get, a, if you want to try them out, you could get, um, they have them in packets. Smaller than this, like, like probably like half of this and skinnier. So they have them in packets of six for $22 at Blick. So now you could do that. This is a 30, this is a big, a regular size, but for $11, yeah, this is a 38 millimeter. So basically a millimeter more than this tube is what this bar is. And see how easy it is to peel? Look at that. I already peeled it. The skin, it's really easy. Oh my God, this is, it's really iridescent, you guys. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, this is going to be good. That's why I bought it as a backup for the other one. And I want to see the difference. You could already see the iridescent. This is going to be good. Very good. I love, love. So I think, and I also wanted to buy a bigger stick. Because the little set I got, guys, I think somebody stole. I don't know. It might have been. It's weird. Like three of my trial, because the trial size comes with, I think, with six. And either five or six, and I only have three. And I've never used any, up any oil sticks, ever. Because they, they go a really long way. It doesn't matter which brand you get, they go a very long way. So, there you go. So, I think for my birthday in January, I want to buy... A set of 36 of these that come in a wooden box but they're a little bit pricey but i think i'll be able to get them hopefully okay so let me see where do i want to swatch this i think i want to swatch this oh i already used that up darn okay well i'm gonna swatch it i think i put it with what iridescent white there yeah i did so let me swatch it in the back of this oh i don't want to do that oh, shoot did why did i leave my sketchbook so i'm gonna do it i'm gonna make sure this is yeah so this is there oh you guys yeah and this is just extra fine i think this is just gold Iridescent, yeah, gold. I can't find the name, but I do believe it's an iridescent. Oh yeah, gold. And the other one, the one that I have from R and F, is ancient gold. I do love my gold, so I'm gonna try to here. I'm gonna try to swatch it. Oh, this one I could do it on the. No, I better not, cause it is what it is. It does cure. Here, I'm just going to do it on top of the iridescent white. I don't care. Because you want to see it, right? Ooh. So it is, a, compared to the RNF, it's just a little bit dry. People said it was oily, but it's not. This one is quite dry. And it, it, it will depend from pigment to pigments. You see how different these three are? And they're all artist grade, especially the gambling. Look how dry that is without medium. And look how buttery this hue is. And this one is also buttery. This one is right in between the butteries. But not as dried as the green. Oil sticks tend to be more dry. But the RNF are very creamy and buttery. Like very. 
So this one is a little bit more dry, which is okay because I don't want to use it up. It is a gold. It is iridescent, but compared to the RNF, I do believe it, the RNF um, gold, ancient gold, is probably the best. But I do like this because it does shine. If you get close to it, it does shine. You have to really get close to it. So this is, yeah, more iridescent. So, yeah. But I do, I mean, $11. I've never gotten, I did get another item, Sennelia, for 11 So I'm just going to put the skin back because I still have some paint around here and I don't want to waste it. But when I use it, I actually peel it. But for this one, I'm just going to leave it like that. And guys, if you like what I do, like this one has a little bit of thing, so I'll, we'll put it in. But let's say you don't have this, then you want it to cure. Ooh, see? That's what happens to me at school. <laughs> and then I come and I'm like, where did I get this pain? This hue just wanted to go all over you guys. That's just point in blank. That's all right. So if you don't have something, just stand it up like that in like a holder or something and it'll start curing. But I do have this, so I'm just going to put it in and leave it open and then it'll start curing in the matter. Probably in this one, it'll cure in 24 hours because um, it'll start creating the skin. You don't have to do anything. So yeah, and I'm going to get clean up. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you... Enjoy this to my viewer who requested this from, she is a soon-to-be artist or, and she plays around with paint and stuff like that. You've seen her on this channel before and uh, she has her own channel so she's a crafter but yeah she wanted on request. So I'm glad I did it because I had a lot of fun and I hope you enjoy this and I'm going to create an oil, oil paint tab. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.